Hi all. So welcome to this channel and in this video session I will discuss the procedure calling a service program procedure with input and output parameters in IBM IS Pondit. So basically uh, we have uh, previous videos where we are calling the RPG program directly but this time we are not calling a program we are going to use a service program that is uh, the procedure of a service program so as we all know that's a no main procedure so let's start with the demo so the first thing is to create a service program so here you can see this is a service program source where uh, it's on H specs it is no main defined means there is no no main, no main procedure exists in this source member so here it's a sub procedure sub proc one sub so this is the prototype for that sub procedure one that is 10a0 10a 10a0 so as uh, uh, we cannot return a value through the stored procedure so we have in and out params uh, where we receive the values in out params uh, to the procedure so here you can see we have three parameters first two are input parameters and the last one is the output parameter now this is an exported procedure so it, it can be exported anywhere and this is the begin of the procedure so once we begin the procedure and this is the end of the procedure so this was the code which is in the scope of this procedure sub proc 1 and it's an exported procedure so begin of the procedure and end of the procedure and in between that we have the procedure interface that is whatever we are taking as an input for those parameters which are input or output so input and output parameters are these and we are executing one SQL statement that is inserted into this library feeds values this so values are n1 and n2 which are coming uh, uh, from the user or the caller and we are returning the SQL code so SQL code gets saved into the ln SQL, SQL code which is an out param for the procedure and then the return return from this procedure so this was the whole uh, sub procedure we can have multiple sub procedures inside the service program source and now we are going to uh, use or we are going to call the service program procedure this sub proper so let's first create a module for this just take 15 take f4 set commitment control to none take f10 just page down thrice set the source debug view so you we can see this the module object gets created successfully and now we'll be creating a service program out of this create srv pgm Just take F4, EXT, SRV, PGM4, EXT, SRV, PGM4, export all. And that's all so just press enter now if you do work object again so you'll see there are two objects one is module and now there is a service program as well just do dsp srv pgm on the object so you will see the information of the service program current exported signature shared activation group is no caller is the activation group attribute 
that's all the size which is currently uh, taking by the program service program that is the static memory static size and uh, here comes the module which is attached to the service program so we can see this module uh, from here by taking five on that just so here if you bind any other service program to the service program will uh, that will be listed here this, uh, these are the sub procedures inside the here the list of the sub procedures inside the service program so here only one procedure exists sub procedure so we can see only that no data is exported to this activation group no activation group is exported imported data no data imported the copyright copyright information as well so these are all information which you will see here now we have the service program object now is the time to create a stored procedure over this so which calls the service program so the first step was to write and create was to create a service program uh, so you have seen how you'll be creating a service program and then you'll be creating a stored procedure which uh, that is an external stored procedure which calls the service program sub procedure so let's see so we can create we can uh, execute this sql script from the uh, str sql session as well but now i'm going to create this using the rpg program so what i'm doing is i'm writing the script into putting the script into a variable and that will be uh, play that will play or uh, that will be then used as an host variable to the execute immediate so we'll do the execute immediate uh, using the sql and we'll create this stored procedure so create procedure this library uh, dot uh, this name so this was the name of the stored procedure input parameter r2 r2 and this one is the output parameter language is rpgle specific this so this is the specific name of the stored procedure so if you have a same name stored procedure exist in the same schema then uh, we can uh, identify each of them separately using the specific name external in this so library name qualify uh, the procedure name qualified with the service program name qualified with the library so library dot service program name and then we need to call the sub procedure of that service program so there could be multiple uh, sub procedures so we need to call uh, some specific procedure so i'm mentioning that name within the brackets so i'm passing the sub procedure name within the brackets so library dot service program name within brackets the procedure name so this way you can call the service program in case of uh, program where what you are doing you are using only this thing that is the library dot call program so the program qualified with the library this is modifying the sql data yes because we are inserting the records using the sql parameter style is uh, general so we are using the general parameter style where we are not handling any nulls uh, because we have multiple uh, parameter style like uh, general uh, general with nulls and we have sql we have db2 with sql so they are styles parameter styles which we can use and each of them is different with each other so this way we can create an stored procedure that is an external stored procedure let's come out and just create the object using option 14 uh, we have commitment control is turn none and just come down star debug view star source so this object is created just do work object ext proc oh, sorry for we can see the object is created just to end debug just do sgrdbg ext proc 4 now we will 
now we will debug this to create the stored procedure so as you all know we never have the uh, physical object of the stored procedure that is the external stored procedure not the SQL one so we have the objects for the SQL stored procedure but not for the external one because they actually calls uh, the program or the service program so they always have the entry in the catalogs which points to the program or the service program which is being called so call ext proc 4 just we can see we have this script create procedure this and this one a specific name this external name this let's see whether it is created or not just we val sql code so it's created what we can do we can see the job log as well f10 shift f6 procedure this was created in ad class one so this way we have executed this rpg program to create the sql stool the external stool procedure just check select start from qsys to dot sys props so we can so we can check by the specific name or the the procedure name itself so this is the specific schema a specific name routine schema and the routine name was the first one which we provided that is in create procedure external stored external stored procedure and external name is class one slash the service program and then the sub procedure which is called these are other properties let's see this is params because we have some params we can see there are three entries because we have three parameters to our input and the last one is output we can see the data type and other length informations so this way we can identify we can see the information of the SQL, uh, the external stored procedure so we have created a service program we have created a stored procedure now we need to call this so either we can call uh, this from the uh, str sql session but there we need uh, some uh, global variable to hold the output value because we have out parameter and we want that out parameter to receive so in that case we need to create a global variable using create variable command and then we can receive that uh, out value into that global variable so what we will do we will pass two values two input values and in the last one we will pass the global variable name so once we call that using call command call sql command we will receive the out parameter now this time i am going to do perform the same thing uh, using the sql rpg program so here you can see the same way i'm going i'm going to call this using the rpg program so we we have three param param one param two param four now i'll call using the sql call execute sql then call easy class one dot like qualified with the library name external stored procedure flow so we we cannot call it using the specific name we need to call with the procedure name but we can drop using the specific name and we must drop using the specific name so we are passing the parameters as a host variable separated by commas and at last the last record indicator set to on just create this using option 14 just take f10 let's start none So you can see this program that's created successfully. Now is the time to debug this. Call proc 4. Just set the breakpoint and then call this. 
call call proc four oh. shift f nine sql select star from ext pf one so we can see there is no data at all right now so once we call this stored procedure we have the data in the file just take shift f10 once twice thrice four times five times so if you take multiple times shift f10 you will be in the service program uh, which you are going we are we are calling from the external uh, as an external program or external service program you can see you and you are in the service program right now and you have received the params and now you are going to insert this so you have the sql code which is zero means inserted you are returning the same you pass minus one and you receive zero just wait just press f10 you receive zero and if you look at the data you can see the record gets inserted successfully and it's the last record indicator set to one so do and debug just uh, call it again so just check so you have two records now call it again and once again now you will see there are four records in the file so this way you have created the stored procedure uh, which calls the service program procedure uh, with input and output parameters so it does not matter uh, if it has input or output parameters so if it has you need to include those parameters into your stored procedure or in your service program procedure if not you can call it as it is so that's all in this video the whole uh, video talks uh, about or gives information about uh, using the service program in external procedure so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time